Alright, what is up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a search bar which can just help you in uh, searching through a list view for items that might be too far down the list. If you want to pick a country or a fruit or a vegetable, this will just help you to get there faster. And it's exactly as it sounds, it's a search view. But let's go straight to our strings and import a string array, which I just got from Stack Overflow as always, this uh, string array of countries, but you can pull whatever you want in there. Then we're going to go to our res file and create a new Android resource directory and it's going to be of type menu. And after that, we're going to go and create a new menu resource file and we're going to name it nav underscore menu. And then we're going to click on OK. And right before we start editing this XML, we're going to go ahead and click on drawable and add a new vector asset. This is going to be for the search icon. So I just changed it to white and you're just going to click on that icon and find a search bar item or whatever you prefer to put there. And right after we've created that icon, we can go ahead and define an item in our nav underscore main XML. It's going to be given an ID of nav underscore search, an icon of drawable IC underscore search, the one we just created. And we're going to give it a title of search and we're going to create an action view class, which is going to be android.widget.searchView. And we're going to show it as an action if room long line with text. And after creating that menu item, we can go to our activity underscore main XML and change it to a relative layout, get rid of the text view and change it to a list view where it's going to match parent for the width and wrap content for the height. We're going to give it an ID of LV underscore list view. And then we're going to create a text view, which is going to be wrapped in content. And we're going to give it an ID of TV underscore empty text view with a text of no results. And the text height is going to be 20 SP. We're going to add the visibility to gone and center it in the parent. And that's going to be used to show that there are no results essentially. But then in our main activity file, we can go ahead and create a private latent var adapter of type array adapter with an asterisk placeholder. And we're going to write adapter equals array adapter with the context of this android.r.layout.simple list item one. And it's going to take our resources.get string array. And we're going to insert our array from our string resources. Then we're going to write lv underscore list view dot adapter is equal to our adapter. And then we're going to write lv underscore list view dot on item click listener equals on item click listener this lambda expression here and you're going to see parent view position id inside here we're just going to write toast dot make text application context parent of nullable type gets item position at the position of position and to string and just a simple toast essentially and under there we're going to write lv underscore list view dot empty view is uh, tv underscore empty text view and that just shows the no results text view in case uh, there's no results then we created our on create options menu and we're going to insert our menu inflator, which is going to be menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot nav menu of type menu. Then we're going to write a value of search It's going to be equal to menu of nullable type. And we're going to write find item r dot id nav uh, search. And then we're going to write val search view, which is going to be search view of nullable type dot action view as a search view. We're going to write search view dot query hint and we're just going to write a hint of what the user can do if they want to type something. And then we can write search view dot set on query text listener and create an object of search view dot on query text listener. Then we have to implement the methods as always. And you're going to have one that says on query text submit where we're just going to return false and on query text change where we're going to write an adapter dot filter dot filter new text and we're going to return true there. And that's all there is to creating a search view. I know I went a bit fast but I hope you could follow. It's, uh, it's not that long to copy in case anything went wrong. But uh, in the end, you should have a similar search bar at the top, which allows you to just type any text you want in the list and it will find it. And when you click on it, it will show the text you clicked on as a toast. And of course, you can replace those toasts with some other action. But essentially, also, if you don't have anything that uh, corresponds to the text you write, such as JJJ, it will say no results. And it's just a very simple search bar that's all i can say i hope this video helped and um, just leave some comments and suggestions in the comment section if there's anything else i should do but other than that i will see you guys in another video thanks for watching